Hey guys, it's YB. And Herbert. And Louis. And Tyrion. And, and Coco. Coco. And we actually have one more guest today, but we will show her in a second because there is no one to hold her except That's I guess Louis one. could hold her maybe. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of Pet Diaries. So this is a kind of a series we started when we first got Coco. And it started with introducing him to our two OGs, Louis and Tyrion. You know, Louis liked him in the beginning, but Tyrion didn't. So there was a whole journey getting them to be friends. And now now they're all friends, Coco is still an asshole sometimes <laughs> and bothers Tyrion but they somewhat get along, they're very cute but just like the title says, on this video we have another cat so the cat we're gonna introduce is named Amber and she is also a rag doll just like Coco and you guys have actually met her before she was in my Korea vlog when I went to Korea two years ago she was in Korea with my parents and we met her briefly there I actually became quite close to her there but didn't see her for you know over a year and she probably forgot about me and then my parents actually moved back to America back to LA and they brought Amber with them but my parents actually had to go back to Korea for a few weeks for some business so then Amber was left with us and that wasn't easy all the time and that's when this story starts hey guys before we continue let me quickly go over dream cloud so thank you dream cloud for sponsoring this video dream cloud is a premium hybrid direct-to-consumer mattress that is now the most awarded luxury hybrid in the US it features a dreamy blend of memory foam and individually wrapped springs and each mattress is cashmere topped and beyond comfortable just like the name the mattress will give be the best sleep of your life like sleeping on a cloud. This award-winning mattress has sold over a million mattresses. It has a 365 night home trial. It also has free shipping and returns and forever warranty. Now there are three kinds of mattresses. There's a Dream Cloud mattress, Dream Cloud Premier mattress, and the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress. The first two are 14 inches in height and seven layers. The Premier Rest mattress is a 16 inch height with eight layers. So I got the Dream Cloud Premier for my room in my parents' house. This is a bed that I slept through high school. So it's a really old bed and I wanted a new mattress for whenever I sleep with my parents. So I got the Premier Rest mattress in queen size. And I can tell you, first of all, the delivery was amazing. It was right at your door. It was easy to unpack and it was all rolled up tightly and it kind of blew up to its size. And all we had to do was put it in place, put a cover on and that was it. The mattress is so comfortable and so soft, but firm enough to support your back. They source only the highest quality materials for their mattresses and are dedicated to delivering products that can help you sleep better and live happier. They also have the most competitive pricing possible with multiple financing options. So that was my Dream Cloud mattress. If you need a new mattress or any of your friends and family do, get them this one. It is really, really nice and affordable and sleeping comfortably is so important for your health. Click on my link down below in my description box and use my code YBCHANG for a discount. I hope you all get a good night's sleep and now back to the video. Just to talk about these cats briefly, Louis is eight years old. Tyrion is also eight years old. Coco is now two years old. And Amber is actually three years old. She's one year older than Coco. But again, she's Korean, so she may not understand their languages. And she's also a very particular cat. Like she's kind of more similar to Tyrion, I would say. Very shy, very guarded. Like doesn't let any of us touch her really. Only my parents can touch her or pick her up. So we knew this was going to be difficult. So we actually did a similar thing what we did with Coco, which was kind of isolate her first to, you know, keep them separated. And those times like she was obviously hissing. Like she was hissing to us actually. None of the animals were used to her. She's not used to them and she's not used to us. So she's like a boxer. <laughs> Every yeah. time when you go there, she's so she's way smaller than Coco. Yeah, way smaller. Well, it seems like she's way stronger, at least from her <laughs> paw. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, careful. So she was punching us, hissing at us, oh, hissing at every little thing. Boxing fights with her. Yeah, and crying all night. It was actually very sad. So I didn't film a lot of it. After a week, she started kind of calming down a little bit more, you know, eating and actually drinking because she wasn't in the beginning. And we actually got the same mesh thing to put near the door. We did that with Coco to let the door be open, but she can't get out and the cats can smell each other and all that. Coco was instantly very interested. So we let him in a few times in the room because we knew he wasn't gonna do anything. He was actually very interested to meet her. She was hissing at him and he seemed to respect her space at least. Okay. 
So I've been giving this anxiety relief for Amber so she can, you know, relax at home. But looks like someone has eaten Amber's food. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> I have caught him eating her food a couple times, so I usually stop him, but it looks like he ate all of her food because it was empty this morning. Now he's been like this for hours. <laughs> like he hasn't moved here. <laughs> and then Tyrion would sometimes come by, make the same growling noise, but not as intense as when Coco was there. She didn't seem to care. As Maybe much. she uh, she thought it is Coco because they, you know, they have the same fur color. I think she was now kind of used to having a new family member around because maybe she got used to that with Coco, I don't know. Since we moved to this house, we have way more space than we did in the apartment when we got Coco. She had her own like space the whole time. She had her territory, so I don't think she minded as much. And then a few days later, I removed the mesh and let Ember roam around. Um, Coco was very curious. Again, he was following her around everywhere. We still couldn't pet her. You know, we couldn't go too close to her without her hissing at us, but at least now she was kind of freely roaming around, not shutting herself in one corner. Tyrion would just kind of watch her from a distance. Louis would too. Louis kind of actually respected her also. I feel like he didn't really care for her. <laughs> Louis is a legend. Yeah. So kind to new animals. Yeah. And he old was, animals and yeah. small and big. He was just chilling like he is right yeah. now. anything Coco was the only one interested in Ember following her around everywhere and you know that started paying off so I started noticing that Ember wasn't hissing to Coco anymore she was letting him actually come close to her they would kind of play together so I would like get like a string and play with both of them at the same time and they would play so at each other's presence they would play she started using the bathroom like right in front of Coco which I think was like a sign that she was getting more comfortable like Coco would just watch her pee interesting you know? Sir, don't do that. Yeah. I think there's a hierarchy now, kind of, between the cats. Well, it's confusing because I think Amber puts Tyrion higher up than her because she is the oldest and she is the OG of the house. Don't punch her. Okay. Tyrion did her little growl, so Ember's backing off. T, be nice. I think Tyrion ranks the highest, however, I don't think Coco respects Tyrion. <laughs> I think he just treats her as a big sister, so he like bothers her all the time. And Tyrion like hisses at Coco to put him down, but never like hits him either. Three cats. Stand up. Who's gonna make the first move? And Ember, starting from a, such a shy cat who wasn't doing anything, started to really act more like a cat once she started hanging out with Coco.
laying, flopping around. Yeah, flopping around, playing even the same way. And what is flopping around? Like, you know, just like lay, flopping. Like kind of like this, yeah. just by himself, yeah. he just lays down. Yeah, and Amber started doing that too. Okay, she just came to lay right there while I'm here. She kind of let me pet her for one second. <laughs> Yay! A stitch. You know those videos when you watch these like rescue cats? It was like that. She was untouchable. Hissing, like crying, hitting everything, just not wanting to meet anyone new at all. And to watch her go from that to now a cat roaming around our house freely, playing with Coco, chasing him around, even like flopping on the floor. And we aren't able to like fully touch her just yet but she's kind of letting us right like we can That's have her it. sniff us yeah you can touch her now but but she will hit you after a while yeah it's been great to kind of watch her grow and i hope she becomes more socialized from this experience even when she goes back to my parents house i feel like we just adapted a child and now we're sending her back <laughs> from Tyrion, how to be chill yeah what she's rubbing on me what? Oh my god. I think she's... I think she's confused. She, she just rubbed on me for the first time on the day she's supposed to leave. What? What is going on? What, Ember? What's going on? Coco, do you know what's going on? Why is she doing that to me? She hated me. <laughs> okay, Amber just left with my parents. I do feel a little bit of bittersweetness. Like I'm happy my parents are reunited with her and also kind of relieved to have a little less stress around the house. But also it was really good having her and see her grow up and I am going to miss her, but she'll be back. I think I'm gonna bring Coco a lot over whenever I go to their house so they can play a little. Cause I'm sure he will miss her and she will miss him. Another thing I noticed recently is that Louis and Coco started cuddling more. Uh, you don't have to be embarrassed when we say that. It's you so cute. To, I caught him at least two or three times cuddling together in Louis' bed that we didn't force. Usually like I put him there kind of like forcefully so that they can be together for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But I would observe and Coco would just go into the bed by himself while Louis is there and start sleeping with him. And I think that's so cute. That was cute. So that was our latest pet diary and updates on our, all our pets, including our new friend, Amber, who hopefully is gonna be a regular visitor. And Coco has made a new friend and Amber also has made new friends, which I think is good for her. And remember to check out the link down below for Dream Cloud Mattress with my promo code YBCheng. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!